Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video series, we're going to learn how to create a loop-based production in Reaper. So in this series of videos, we're going to create a song from start to finish without using a MIDI keyboard or without knowing how to play a musical instrument or even sing. We're going to download all the loops we need for free on the internet. So you can make music even if you're not that musical. Now the way we're approaching this series is that you don't need to know anything about using Reaper. You could have just downloaded it from the website and opened it for the first time. So together, we'll create our first song. Now don't get too worried if you don't like the song we're going to create. I made this one specifically to show you all the different things we can do in Reaper. Obviously, your next song could be something more your style. But if you follow along, you should be able to create your own loop-based production based on what you learn here. But before we get started, there's a few things I should show you first. I'm not going to assume you know anything about how Reaper works, so I will be teaching you everything along the way as it comes up. But if you do want to dig deeper on any particular subject, go to the Reaper website and you'll find tons of videos on any topic you want, all labeled and categorized, so you can find any topic you're looking for. After you download Reaper and you open it up, it should look like this, which is a blank project. And we should make sure a few things work. So let's go to our preferences. We'll go up here to the options menu and choose preferences. Then we'll scroll down under audio to device. And right over here, we choose the audio device or computer audio interface we're going to use to hear sound. Make sure you choose the audio interface you want to use, where your speakers are plugged into. I'm going to choose this one, and if you don't have one, you can just choose built-in output. And if you want to follow along to make sure everything looks the same, we should also change some layouts. So if we go over here to the left side and double click, it creates a new track. Let's create a few. Now how these tracks look is based on the layout. So if we go back to the options menu and go down here to themes, we can see I'm using the default theme for Reaper 5. But I'm also using in the layouts, on the track panel, large, which makes the buttons on the track appear bigger. So if you want to see the same thing I'm seeing, make sure you change yours to this. And also for the mixer panel, I have it set to the session mixer, which makes the mixer easier to see. Let's open up that mixer under View Mixer, and it shows up right down here. Or it might show up in a floating window like this. But either way, let's put it back to dock in the docker, and let's move it to the left hand side of our screen. Just grab the tab right here and drag it to the left side so the mixer shows up over here. Then I'm going to move the tracks over so we just see one track at a time. And also move this up, hold on Control on the PC or Command on the Mac and drag this up so we see our fader nice and big. And if we choose each track, it's going to switch our mixer. So we can adjust our volumes very quickly right from here. But only if we choose our mixer right here. We're going to start with it off, but later on, we'll turn it back on when we want to adjust the volumes of our tracks. But let's start off with a clean slate by hiding the mixer and deleting these tracks. So now we need to find some sounds for our song. Let's go to the internet and let's search free loops. And one of the first websites that shows up is this one right here, looperman.com. 
Now there's many websites to find loops, but we're going to choose this one because the loops are free and there's a lot to choose from, as you'll see. Now in order to download the loops, we have to first register an account. Then we could log in and search for some loops for our song. We could search them by tags, by genres, by categories, or just search them by keywords right here. I'm going to search by keyword hip hop drums. And then we could audition some loops. That's a pretty good sounding loop to start with. So let's download this one right over here. Then if we go back to Reaper and also open up our downloads folder on our hard drive, we can see that file right here. Now the tempo says 80 beats per minute, but I don't think that's right. I think it's a bit faster. Let's check it out. We'll drag it in to Reaper like this. And it automatically creates a track for this loop. Let's drag it to the beginning like this to bar one. Now, before we change our tempos, we should go to the project settings. Under File, Project Settings. And we should change the time base for our items. This setting right here from beats, position, length, and rate to just beats, position only. This way, if we change the tempo of our song, the loops aren't going to change with it. We could always do that later, but for finding the tempo, we should set it here. Hit OK. And now let's check out if it works at 80 beats per minute, right over here. Change it from 120 to 80. Then turn on the metronome. Let's zoom in a bit. You can hear it's a bit off. And it's not lining up with our grid, which we could turn on right here and turn on snapping right here. If it was 80 beats per minute, the loop would end at bar two, and it doesn't. So what we should do to figure out the tempo is put our cursor at bar two, type in shift and C, and we can put a tempo marker right here at bar two. Then we can move this tempo marker to the end of the loop. Hold down control on the PC or command on the Mac, and drag it over like this. Let's zoom in as close as possible with a mouse wheel. Drag it over here. And now let's zoom out to the entire project. Control and page down on the PC or command and page down on the Mac. And we can see the tempo of this loop is 90 beats per minute, not 80. So let's delete. This tempo marker right here, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and click it. And do the same with this one. And just type in right here, 90 beats per minute. And now the loop is perfect. We could trim it out to loop it, and it's going to play in time with our click. Of course, we could skip all that if you know the correct tempo of the loop. I just wanted to show you how to find the tempo of a loop. Let's trim it back to one bar. And instead, let's copy and paste it to repeat a few times. This will make it easier for arranging later. We'll select it, copy it, go to bar two and paste it. And our cursor moves to bar three. So we could paste it again to create more repeats. 
Let's just go up to bar 10. That should be enough. Now let's rename the track to loop one and give it a color. Just right click it over here, go to track color and set tracks to custom color. I'm going to choose something like this, hit OK, and we're good to go. Now let's save this project. We'll go to File, Save Project As. Make sure we choose Create Subdirectory for Project and Copy All Media into Project. And give it a name. I'll call it Song 1. Hit Save. And now our song is saved. So we have a loop and a tempo and a beginning to our song. So in the next video, we'll start to add more loops. Let's go. Mm -hmm.